We're upgrading the trunnions in our rocker arms for our six liter LS. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and today we are doing the next step on getting our LS ready to go in the Corvette and that's going to be a trunnion upgrade on our rocker arms. Now listen, this upgrade is basically a must anytime you're doing a camshaft swap. It's not that expensive. Uh, you know, we're running a kit from Michigan Motorsports here and I've got this uh, powerhouse trunnion tool I highly advise getting one of these. You can do it with sockets, but spend the extra money. You can knock out all of these so quick whenever you're using the proper tool, and we'll go over the operation of this here in a bit. But essentially what we're doing is we're getting rid of just the pressed in stock trunnions, which is necessary whenever we get into a situation where we're doing a more aggressive valve train on a vehicle. And the reason why is needle bearings. You can't see them, they're captured in there. But these things have a tendency to push the guts out of them and shoot needle bearings all the way through the interior of your engine, which will catastrophically destroy an engine. And so what we're doing is we're going over to this new style trunnion setup that uses C-clips on this center shaft that keeps everything retained. So if this something goes wrong here, a bearing fails, etc. This is going to be retained. We're not going to lose bearings throughout the entire motor. That's why it's important. This is one of the most important upgrades. I, you know, as I said, I would not do a camshaft without doing this upgrade just because of that. So I've got all of my rocker arms over here. Do it one at a time. This one's still got a post in it, which we don't need because uh, the Michigan Motorsports kit comes with new ones. And let's jump over to the vise. Okay, where this thing is worth its weight in gold is the fact that it's magnetic. I wish the magnet was a little bit stronger, but you gotta live, you gotta do what you gotta do. You're gonna get this unit here, goes onto your vise. You're gonna get two thick washers for getting your uh, new arm centered. And then you're gonna get this device here that is used to push the old bearings out and install the new ones. So first things first, let's open this thing up. And we're going to be using the big cup here. It'll sit down on the cap of our old bearing. So once that's engaged, we just go ahead and vise that thing out of there. As soon as it pops, there it goes. Make sure. Back this thing off. And... There's our old bearing, there's our old guide, there's our other old bearing. So this is ready for a new one. It's critical whenever you install these bearings, there's writing on the outside edge of that. You want those that writing facing out. These got caps in them also. So since we're gonna be installing it facing out on this side, I'll go ahead and push out the plastic bearing retainer sleeve on this. And then I'm going to install it over my device here. Now, this is going to go inside and it is used to align that bearing whenever we're seating this. So we'll go ahead and get this thing started and we're going to run this thing down pretty much flush with the rocker arm. So that's what we're looking for there. Now, what we can do is our installer tool will slide out the other side. We'll grab one of our pivot arms, install it in there, being mindful of where the bearings are at. We don't want to lose one of these roller bearings. Let's grab another one. Once again, we're keeping an eye for the text on the bearing itself to make sure that we're getting it in the right direction. Push the retainer out. And we can go ahead and slide it over our shaft. Now for this one, this is where the washer is going to come into play. I'm going to get started without the washer. God dang magnet. As I said, that's what I talked about. I wish it's a little bit stronger. 
We'll go ahead and get started without the washer here. So now that I've got it going in there, I can put the washer on the end and that's going to allow for the end play that we need for the shaft. So then we'll just go ahead and run that all the way down. Now that we're done with that, we want to make sure that we still have free movement down inside of the rocker arm. We're good. Grab a couple of the C-clips. And our C-clip pliers. Let's pop our locks on. Want to make sure that that's good and seated down there. There, we don't want to lose the C clip the remote either. Okay, as I've said, this is probably the one mod that you're going to want to do anytime you're upgrading the valve train on your LS. If you're sticking with the stock style rockers, make sure that they have captured bearings, or even if you go over to a bushing style instead of a bearing style, you just don't want to leave the stock ones in there where they can crap its guts out through your motor and chew everything up so well i've got a ton more rockers to get knocked out so i'm going to get back to it i want to thank you as always for stopping by the garage remember abt always be tuning